Welcome to the A to Z of golf. I'm Simon Dyson. We've come up with 26 videos for your golf. Let's jump into the first one. Hi everyone, welcome back to the A to Z of golf. Today we are on I, and I stands for information overload. Something in golf that is an absolute killer for me. You read articles on how to swing it, you watch videos, you listen to pros, you listen to your playing partners, and they're constantly giving you different instructions on how to swing it and how to hit the shots. So again, it's all about keeping it so simple. Me personally, all I work on is my club path. If I can get my club path working with Trackman on a minus number, so that's more of an out to in number. So I'm basically trying to start the ball a little bit left of my intended target and hit a little fade. I know when I do that consistently, that is when I play my best golf. I see the flight that I want. Worst case, I hit it dead straight and it goes five yards left of target, or I overcut it and it goes five yards right of target but that's when I play my best. So I'm not thinking, what is my club doing at the top? What's my right elbow doing? I'm not thinking about anything but that club path and possibly even what flight, what uh, trajectory I wanna hit it on. But by keeping it that simple, I've got purely external thoughts. I'm thinking what I wanna do with that ball and that is it. And it's been shown that the best performers and professionals in the world are all external. They don't really think that much about the swing. They think about what they want to do with the ball. So if I stand up to this, I'm aimed at that red target. I'm just going to stand up to it and just think, get that club a little bit on the outside, but I'm, I'm more thinking about what I want the ball to do. Start it left of target and fade back on. So I'm just going to start it left. Now that was a really good club path but my face was just a bit shut, so it went dead straight, but it's literally landed four yards left of the intended target. So let's go and have a look, see what the club path was doing. Right, so as we can see, that is a minus 2.6 club path. That's maybe a little bit too severe, but because I my bad shot is on an into out path, I'm trying to exaggerate that feeling, but that for me is all I'm thinking about there and it's still only finished 12 feet left of target. So my goal there would be to get it to a minus one. And that's where I would see my best golf being played. So there you have it. Just by focusing on that one thing, I've kept it so simple. And I'm actually getting the results that I want by thinking about one thing. Jack Nicholas always used to say, he would go into a tournament and go into a round trying to think of one thing. Sometimes he only ever thought about his right toe, his big toe on his right foot. But by purely keeping his mind free of all the negativity and all the other things that he, he didn't want to think about, he freed himself up to go and play. So I highly recommend you do the same. 